recent troubles at London Airport, Britain's giant air terminal, have centred on the workshops of the British European Airways Corporation. Shortly before Christmas, there was the possibility of a strike by BEA staff. This would have brought the airline's operations to an almost complete halt. The trouble began when 315 engineers were sacked for attending an unofficial meeting during working hours. This meeting had called for go-slow working and a ban on overtime. Almost at once, the sacked men applied for their jobs back and no strike took place. The young chief of BEA, Mr. Peter Maysfield, talked to our reporter about the causes of the dispute. Can you express the attitude of yourself and BEA over this happening? Well, it's been an unfortunate affair, but it all started over one or two subversive elements who were dissatisfied and took completely unofficial action against all the agreements of the National Joint Council and of, with the trades unions, with whom we have very good relations. Only one of the dismissed men was not re-engaged by BEA, who say that they are determined to uphold the authority of their management. The odd man out was the convener of the shop stewards at the airport, Mr. Jack Peters. Peters had tried for many months to persuade BEA to allow him to work full-time at his union duties while still being paid by the company. Although some engineers have called for strike action to support Peters, who is appealing for his job back, the union is refusing until all his appeals have failed. Peters, who denies he is a communist, has sought re-employment three times. So far, he has been unsuccessful. 